Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to walk you through a simple but powerful way to find high potential swing trades using TradingView's free stock screener. Now, if you're new to swing trading, or you've ever felt overwhelmed trying to filter through thousands of stocks, by the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to use a straightforward strategy to spot stocks with momentum for short-term gains. We're going to do this step-by-step, step, so stick with me and you'll be screening like a pro. All right, let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is head over to the TradingView screener. You can find this right at the bottom of your TradingView dashboard, and it's where all the magic happens for stock selection. We're focused on the U.S. stock market today, so if you're not already set to that, take a quick second to make sure your screener is showing U.S. stocks. This will keep things relevant to major liquid stocks and popular swing trading candidates. Now here's a small but powerful trick. Find the Analyst Rating column in the screener. This column tells you how Wall Street analysts feel about each stock boiled down to a clear rating. Right-click on the Analyst Rating column and move it all the way to the start, so it's the very first thing you see. The reason this matters is simple. When you're making fast decisions, you want the most important info right in front. And our rule for this strategy is that we only consider stocks with a strong buy rating. This helps you quickly filter out weaker candidates and stack the odds in your favor by going with stocks that already have broad analyst support. Next up, it's all about the right data. Remember, for swing trading, we care about short-term movements. So click on the Change column, then go into the column settings. Switch the time frame to one week and hit Apply. What you're doing here is making sure you see how much a stock has moved over the past week, which is a much more relevant window for swing traders compared to daily or multi-month changes. Let's give similar attention to the volume column, which is critical for assessing liquidity. Right-click on volume, adjust it to show the one-week view and hit apply again. Why? Because you want to ensure there's enough trading activity to actually enter and exit your trades easily. Nobody likes getting trapped in low-volume stocks. Then, click on the volume column header to sort in descending order. This way, the most actively traded stocks float to the top, saving you time and ensuring you're looking at the real movers. Now comes the key filtering piece. You want to zero in on stocks that have decreased in value this week, but not by too much. Specifically, we're targeting pullbacks of no more than 5%. Here, why a stock that's down slightly may just be taking a healthy breather before another move up. But if it's dropped over 5%, that could mean deeper trouble or changing momentum, and for this strategy, it's better to let those pass. So to recap, you're hunting for strong buy ratings, high weekly volume, and a recent price pullback of 5% or less. Once you find a stock that checks all these boxes, go ahead and click the little flag icon on the left. That's how you bookmark your picks for easy review. Let's do a few together. As you start seeing candidates that match, flag them. It might take a few minutes, but take your time. This careful selection process is what separates methodical swing traders from random guesswork. And that's it. You've now built a smart, repeatable shortlist for swing trading, all for free using TradingView. If this strategy helped you out, be sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comments which stocks you found today, or if you have any questions at all about the screener. Don't forget to subscribe for more practical, no-nonsense trading tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy trading.